HydroStat Plus offers additional programmable features to customize the operation of the control and to tailor it to the needs of a specific installation. To access these features, you must enter the program mode. Start by turning the low temp dial fully counterclockwise until the display reads off. Now slowly turn the dial clockwise until you see PRO on the screen. You are now in the program mode. Next, use the high temp dial to select the programming option you want to change. Each program option is assigned a number. Refer to the installation and operating manual for a list of options and the corresponding number. Once you select the desired program number, you can change the option by pressing the test settings button on top. After you have changed the program options, you will need to reset your low temp and high temp settings to desired temperatures. So let's take a look at some of these options. Option number one is Smart Thermal Pre-Purge. This is a fuel saving feature that purges latent heat out of the boiler in an attempt to satisfy a heat call before the control allows the burner to fire. The feature includes an internal algorithm that monitors the rate of temperature decrease. If it determines that the latent heat will be unable to satisfy the heat call, or if the boiler water temperature drops below 150 degrees Fahrenheit, the burner will fire immediately. This feature is turned off by default. So let's go ahead and activate this feature. Turn the low temp dial to the PRO setting, then use the high temp dial to option one, which corresponds to smart thermal pre-purge. Press the test settings button on top to select the on option. You now have turned on this feature. To exit the program mode, wait for the PRO screen to appear and simply set the low and high limits back to the desired temperatures. Always go back and reset the dial settings after making a program adjustment. All of the program features in the program mode can be activated the same way. Here is a list of the other program options that you can select. Option two allows you to set the control for Celsius or Fahrenheit. The factory default is set to Fahrenheit. Option three enables you to change the operation of the low water cutoff to function as a manual reset control. This can be a useful feature if the boiler is installed in a commercial building that may require a manual reset low water cutoff. When the control is set to this manual reset mode, it will shut down when a low water condition is detected. If the condition is sustained for 30 seconds, the low water light will blink, indicating that the control has locked out and the burner can only be reset by pushing the test settings button on the top of the control. This function can also be tested by holding the test settings button for 30 seconds to simulate a sustained low water condition. After 30 seconds, the low water light will blink, indicating that the control is locked out. To reset the lockout condition, press the test settings button momentarily. Option four allows you to set which inputs will activate the circulator contacts. The options include A, any call to TT, B, a call to ZCZR, or C, a call to either TT or ZCZR. The default is set to TT. This feature provides wiring flexibility when adding zones to existing installations. Option five is called circulator hold off. This option is used for cold start applications and provides for holding the circulator off on a call for heat until the boiler temperature reaches 125 degrees Fahrenheit. This allows the boiler to heat up faster and minimizes the time the boiler is operating at a temperature in which flue gases will condense. 
Currently, program options six and seven are reserved for custom configured units and not available on most hydrostats. Option eight is for setting the immersion well type. While the control is designed to automatically determine the well type, this optional feature can be useful when installing on a standard immersion well that contains hardened heat transfer grease or other contaminants. If metal to metal contact is ever lost between the sensor and the inside of the well, this option will prevent the possibility of a false low water condition. The fault setting A is used for electro wells and B is for standard immersion wells. Please note that if the control is installed on an electro well, setting B will not be available. This ensures continuous low water protection on all boilers equipped with an electro well. Please review the section in the manual on setting the well type for additional information. Option 9 allows you to set a fixed differential of 10, 20, or 30 degrees Fahrenheit off of the high limit setting. This feature can only be used if the economy function is turned off. When the economy function is active, the hydrostat's fuel saving thermal targeting feature sets varying differentials based on system conditions. These optional differential settings are subtractive from the high limit setting. The final option, DEF, allows you to reset all of the factory default settings. Rather than a program number, the screen will display DEF. Just like the other settings, you will turn the high limit dial to select DEF and then press the test settings button. This will restore all of the program options back to the factory settings listed in the installation and operating manual.